Hello, and welcome to Now Gaming. I'm Adam Steiner. While working on another video, I ran into a little bit of a technical issue that I thought sharing what happened might actually help some of you guys out. This other video I was working on is about the performance difference of system memory on how much of a difference there is between one stick, two sticks, and four sticks of RAM on a Ryzen system. Now I wasn't actually expecting to find any performance difference when using four sticks to two sticks of RAM, but that wasn't the case. Okay, to be perfectly clear, this isn't so much a problem, but it is a technical issue that I think you guys should know, especially if you're looking to be adding RAM to your system anytime soon. Now to be more precise, I'm talking about fast RAM. Now with the test that I was doing, I was using two kits of two by eight gigs uh, that were rated for 3000 megahertz. I was doing my tests on my ASRock B450M Pro 4 motherboard. And when I went from two sticks of RAM to four sticks, something happened. Now when I turned the system back on, I heard the fans turn on, and then I heard the fan cycle, which means that the memory check failed. The fan cycle two more times, then finally it posts after the BIOS automatically resets to default. It then boots into Windows and everything looks okay. Now, at this point, I understand what just happened. The motherboard or the BIOS didn't like something about the settings of the RAM, but I don't know why or what that was. So I restarted the computer and went into the BIOS. I found that the XMP profile was turned on and set to 3000 megahertz, which made sense as that was what I had last on. Now the sticks of RAM are rated for 3000 megahertz and the system did post after it auto reset. So it would be highly unlikely that there's anything wrong with the sticks of RAM themselves. So what I decided to do was to turn down the frequency of the RAM to 2133 within the XMP profile. And then I booted into Windows. Now after each successful boot into Windows, I went back into the BIOS and stepped up the XMP frequency until finally it failed when I tried 2800 megahertz. So then I went into the BIOS, went, stepped it back down to 2733 booted into Windows and ran some tests and everything seemed stable. So at this point in time, I've determined that the ASRock B450M Pro 4 motherboard can only handle the frequency of 2733 when using four sticks of RAM. And now that is at least with the G-Skill RAM I'm using. So I'm sitting there thinking, WTF? Because I remember seeing a video on YouTube that someone was comparing a 2x8 kit of RAM to a 4x4 kit of RAM at 3200 MHz. Then I start thinking, maybe the quality of the motherboard has something to do with what's happening. So at this point, I am super glad that I already have the ASRock Tai Chi board in, so I take everything off the B450 board and then switch it over to the X470 Tai Chi, and then I turn on the Tai Chi board and the first time I let it boot into Windows just to make sure everything's working okay and then I immediately restarted the computer and then was smashing the delete button got back into the BIOS or got into the BIOS and adjusted the XMP profile to 3000 megahertz saved changes and booted back into Windows with no issues so what I'm trying to indicate is if you have a lower end motherboard and you're using a 2x4 kit that's rated at 3000 megahertz plus and you have the idea of okay RAM prices are now cheap maybe it's time to get that third and fourth stick of RAM you might actually want to start thinking about getting two sticks of 8 gig RAM rather than adding to the two sticks of 4 gig that you already have now as far as I can tell this is all motherboard dependent so if you do have a high-end motherboard you can probably just disregard everything I just said but if you do have a lower end B350, it's something you're going to have to think about before buying. Or at least you should check the return policy before buying any more RAM. Now I do hope you found this video in time to make sure that you didn't have the same issue. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, do all that good stuff. Uh, and if you're still watching, please think about subscribing because I do release videos every week. 
This is Adam Steiner. See you next time.